Hi, this is Assign Chef. In this video, we'll be sharing with you six topics that you need to master in your JAM English syllabus before entering the hall for your 2023 JAM UTME English examination. And that is a bit strange because in this channel, we deal mostly with the science subject, especially chemistry. But these tips were given to me by a friend of mine who is an English tutor, Mr. Lighton, because of the passion he has for his students, right? And he said, I should please share this with you guys so that there's one or two people who can learn something before going into the hall. I know it's a bit late because um, some people are starting their exams tomorrow, but it is better late than never. All right, let's start. The first thing he said is that you're expected to read up your jam recommended text, which is the life changer, right? I should tell you to read up the life changer because about 10 to 20 questions always come out from this text right remember english is 60 questions and if 10 to 20 questions come out from a particular area that has to tell you how important that area is or that aspect is in that examination right if you have if you are yet to read it up please do that use today or use the next few hours to read up that text is a very small text you can finish on that two or three hours if you're really serious about it so read up the text finish it up before going into the hall secondly you say you should master your antonyms and synonyms you should master your antonyms and synonyms antonyms are words that are opposite in meaning while synonyms are words that are similar in meaning right so master your antonyms and your synonyms before going into the hall right now you can do this by exposing yourself to as many vocabularies as possible words that you are not um, familiar with check up their meanings in your dictionary make your dictionary your friend right check up their meanings and their opposite using your thesaurus too right and try also as much as possible to solve as uh, many past questions as possible listen to your news because these are areas you can develop or you can build your vocabulary, read novels as much as possible. I know this is a bit late, but it's still something. Like I said, it's better late than never, right? Then the third aspect is um, speech sounds. You see, you should master your speech sounds. And under speech sounds, we have vowels and consonants. And they said that experience has shown that students always struggle with the vowel, vowel sounds than the consonant sounds, right? So master your vowel sounds before you enter the hall for your utme examination right and also your uh, consonant sounds your vowel a a e uh, you know all those things uh -huh. and your the uh, g right all those funny funny consonant sounds you do in english you understand what i mean yes so master those sounds especially those ones that are always that tend to be what confusing like your like your j and your g like judge where g sounds like j right so yeah areas like that master such like champagne and your church ch in champagne is, is pronounced as sh and in the, the other case pronounced as ch so master such areas too under your speech and your sounds right and then um, of course those vowel sounds are a that can be quite confusing right yeah we know that can be quite confusing but master it too then he said um, you should also master your stress, your stress in English, your primary and uh, secondary word stresses, your primary and secondary stress. I don't know which one is emphatic stress. He made mention of emphatic stress. I don't know whether the primary stress is emphatic stress or what, but he told me to tell you to make master your stress, your stress in English, right? Stress your primary and your secondary word stresses so you know you must know where the primary stress falls on your word and where the secondary stress falls on your word right so master that too it's very very important then also you are expected to master your concord in english that's the use of words and uh, conjunctions and prepositions right like on top of the table something like that there are certain words that do not go with other words so that is where concord in english comes in right you must master two words that will go together in a particular sentence and those that will not go together i say you should master that aspect it's very 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 important because questions always come out from this word area right and lastly 
advise you to master your idiomatic expressions and also your figures of speech. Your idioms, master them, the meanings of the idioms and also your figures of speech. All the eight figures of speech, you should be able to identify them in a sentence or apply them in a sentence, right? Please try to master these areas before you step into the exam hall for your English UTME. One mark or two marks can change a lot in this examination, right? Yes, one mark can gain your admission into university and one mark can also stop you from gaining admission into university. So please don't take anything that we share with you here for granted. All right. So that brings us to the end of this session. If you're able to learn anything with regards to your UTME examination, give us a like, drop a comment in the comment section, subscribe to this channel if this is your first time here, and turn on your notification bell to always stay updated to our new uploads. Remember, everything you need to succeed in this examination is on the other side of fear. So keep facing your fear until I see you, and I'll see you.